Scientists just worked out how to turn mercury into gold using nuclear fusion. For centuries, humans have been obsessed by the idea of turning ordinary metals into gold. Now, Marathon Fusion, a San Francisco-based startup, has entered the chat and announced a new plan to use deuterium-tritium fusion reactors to practice modern-day alchemy. Normal fusion works by smashing together isotopes of hydrogen, usually deuterium and tritium, to form helium, releasing high-energy 14.1 mega electron volt neutrons and a flood of energy. Inside the reactor, those neutrons are typically absorbed by a lithium breeder blanket, don't look that up on Amazon, which decays to produce more tritium to feed the reaction. Marathon Fusion's proposed design swaps in Mercury-198 within in this blanket. When a fast neutron hits a Mercury-198 atom, it absorbs it and then releases two more neutrons in its place, in an uncreatively named N2N reaction, producing Mercury-197. Mercury-197 is an unstable isotope that undergoes beta-minus decay. Over roughly 64 hours, one of its neutrons transforms into a proton, releasing an electron and antineutrino and turning the atom into gold-197, the stable form of metallic gold found in nature. Unlike previous group's experiments, Marathon Fusion insists this isn't just a physics stunt and that the simulations show that a 1 gigawatt fusion plant could crank out 5,000 kilograms of gold per year, potentially doubling the plant's revenue. It's important to say no one's peer-reviewed the process just yet, but if this is real, fusion energy might pay for itself in gold bars. Reminding us all that in a gold rush, build nuclear fusion reactors. I juiced it up a little. If you like science and just realize that you now need to worry about Silicon Valley alchemy bros, follow for more.